Hello, this is David Spark for Zoho, and I am speaking with Joel Kruger, who is the Vice President of Business Development for ECS Business Services. Joel, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Great. Hey, uh, tell me a little bit about ECS Business Services. What do you guys do? Uh, ECS Business Services was established uh, a number of years back um, by a hotelier who basically uh, – was operating hotels for 35 years and realized that there was really no one out there to explain the bills, uh, utility bills. And, and what we do is we audit utility invoices for large commercial properties. And what that means uh, is when we get a copy of a client's utility bills, we audit each line item to make sure that they're being charged correctly by the utility company, by the vendor, municipality, whatever it may be. And if we find any overbilling overcharges, we get money back to them. If not, we look for opportunity for them to save money on an ongoing basis as well. Excellent. Sounds good. All right. So let's. I want to hear a little bit about your story of uh, about uh, where your problems were having in sort of managing customers, how you guys were doing in the past. So uh, take me back to the beginning of of you know before you well how you were sort of managing customers before you discovered a CRM solution? It was uh, archaic. Um, we basically had, had each person had uh, individually managed their own client base. Um, had a big filing cabinet uh, that had a, all our client files. Um, it was really just kind of old school. There was no method to the madness, if you will. Um, and it was just as we were expanding and growing, and we were growing so rapidly that um, what really caused us to get into this was that we were having a lot of overlapping. Uh, we were having, we had a lot of reps out in the field, um, and they would have to call in and speak with, you know, if this was an existing client or if anyone uh, met or spoke as a potential client. So it was really becoming, and we were using an Excel spreadsheet, which, you know, of course, doing that was um, was not effective. We weren't efficient, and it really just was not. You know, we were growing too fast for this. Cool. Oh. Okay, so you real you did realize that it was archaic. And how, by the way, how long ago are we talking here? Uh, not that long ago. Uh, within the past twelve months. Okay, and um, so you're you're a rather new customer. This so. Uh, how did you realize that you needed a CRM solution? What, what was sort of, and did you know about CRM? Um, what made us decide to get a CRM program was, was simple. There had been a few people in the office that had used the CRM program and knew uh, what it was capable of doing, and we needed something very specific because we have reps um, throughout the United States, um, and having a rep call in asking if someone had called a potential client or if a prospect was a client, um, it was really uh, becoming an issue. We had people overlapping. So a client, for example, I, a prospect I would have met, have met with, uh, somebody else in our company was trying to get in an appointment. And, of course, that was creating problems with the potential client because they were getting inundated with phone calls from our company. So it was, it was, that was easy enough to say, okay, we have to sit down and, dis and, and get a CRM program um, it really took us a long time to decide which company we were going to go to. Um, we had done trials with multiple CRM programs, free trials. Um, we had done conference calls. Um, and we had all, you know, had, there was a team, there was a committee. And we had all tried various different CRMs, and then we all got back together at our pros and cons. And ultimately, we ended up with Zoho. So let's. I want to go. Give me the details of the pros and cons. Uh, which ones did you look at? What were the pros and cons of, of each one, and and why did you decide on Zoho? I mean, I I want to hear that whole story. Oh, great. Um, well, I've got a lot of time here. Then, um, <laughs> basically, we had looked at you know Salesforce. We had looked at um, Act. Uh, we had looked at uh, gold mine even um, that was on the table. Um, we had looked at anything that was web-based. That was web-based. 
um, that was important for us because again, Red Bull, and for them to access it via an app on the phone was also very important. Uh, what ultimately uh, the search feature that we were looking for, um, and that when we have a, a list of clients, so if we have five different reps, each rep wants to keep their client base and their prospect list, you know, as much to themselves as possible. What we wanted to do was create a general search feature, which was, you know, a rep can go in and search out ABC company and, you know, uh, in whatever it's in or Chicago or California, wherever it was, and see if that company belonged to anybody. And believe it or not, as a simple as search that might be, uh, none of the CRM programs had that. Um, what, in, including Zoho. Um, but what really turned us on to Zoho was that when we were you know, we were a little apprehensive, but when we were dealing with the customer service and the support, which is abroad, um, they were great. Um, expectations were blown out of out of the water. Um, so g give me a specific. Well, what what did they do that was so great for you? Well, you know, when they knew that we were looking at various different CRM programs, they they would act, they actually set up a conference call with us, which no one else has ever done, um, to find out exactly what it is our needs were. They wanted to know exactly the type of search feature that we wanted and why we wanted it. And they really wanted to understand what we were looking for. I mean, it was really it was quite impressive. And again, they were abroad, and then we were a little apprehensive, but the reality is, is that they were. They were amazing. They were great. And although they didn't have the feature, they were putting a team together, to do testing to create this function, and then implement it not only for us but also for clients. So. Um, so does that exist today? They are working on it now. Um, I don't. It's not 100 percent up, but they they had some variable of what we were looking for, which is very helpful for us. Because Basically, as a rep, as a sales rep, I didn't necessarily want other sales reps to see my clients. Not only that, my client notes and the relationships and who I had the relationship with, um, very competitive out there. What we want to do is have a general search feature that say, okay, ABC company belongs to John Smith. Okay. So, and it showed the last contact date. So the last contact date was October 2011. As a rep, I can call John Smith and say, look, I have a connection into this company. Um, you haven't contacted them in a year. Um, where is it we do to either work together on it or if, you know, I can now take this lead over depending where it was because that's also very important. Uh, the, no, that, that uh, you know, I, I had never heard that before. Right? I mean, it, we always talk about CRM, everyone having complete visibility, but when you're in a, in a competitive environment, you, even within your uh, closed walls, you, you need certain visibility and certain non-visibility, right? I mean, right. Uh, excellent. Oh, okay. So, I mean, was I mean, was this experience what really ultimately sold you on them, or what were all the sort of the features within Zoho that sold you on it? And what were was it about the other competitors that you didn't like? Well, what I liked about Zoho and really that that and the customer service was standing. I mean, it was great. It was you know a company again, like I said, it was abroad, and and now you know as a small company. You know, it's it's all about the way you're treated. Um, you know, because you want to be treated just as well as big guys are. So uh, they really, you know, rolled out the red right gloves on. They were really interested in us and what we and our needs, which was very important. Um, so we knew that going this um, even into the future, even if we've, you know, since we've joined, we've had a, we've hit a couple of stumbling blocks, and the customer support has been great. What we didn't like so much about big companies is that just, you know it was. A lot of it straight out of the box. You know, there was there wasn't really much you could change or like the features that we wanted to have. They couldn't, you know, it was such a big company for for Mac. They can't make these changes for you. They can't implement these changes. Um, and I think, you know, specifically one of the other companies, uh, you actually had to implement it on your server in order to search. But the bottom line is we had reps that we wanted to access it out, you know, on your smartphone. Look, I, you know, I have Zoho right here on my phone. I can set leads, I can make changes, um, I can add notes, I make a phone call from my phone, I log the information. It just, it was a comfort issue. It was really just, we felt a lot more comfortable. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, now, 
So, uh, so now you've actually deployed Zoho. How, how long have you guys been using Zoho now? Uh, well, we've been using it for a while because, you know, we were using the free trial just to kind of get things going and, and see how we want to do things. But uh, we've been working on it probably about, let's say about four or five months. Okay, excellent. Maybe, and, maybe about four months. Okay. And how has the ramp up been? And, like, how many people are using it? Like, from the point of you actually got it to you sort of set it for yourself, I mean, what did you initially set up and how many people did you get running on it? Uh, right now, I think we have about um, seven people running on it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and it's been great. Uh, we found a, a guy locally who is very proficient with Zoho, so we got very lucky with that. We have an office in Maryland, um, and there's a guy in Maryland who's very proficient with Zoho. We found him, we teamed up to him, hired him, and he was able to make the changes and really custom. And that, that, that in itself was worth it because he was so proficient with it that, you know, we had specific needs and specific fields that we wanted, and there's a big learning curve. And because we were able to find somebody that was an expert and bring them in and hire them, it made those real quick. So everything was very seamless. Entering the data, uh, we put we had everything on Excel. Um, and we were able to import it into Zoho. But again, phenomenal, very easy transition. Um, any hiccups that we've had, and we had to call customer support, they've been phenomenal. Uh, it's really been, you know, it was a little, like I said, apprehensive at first, but it's been a great experience so far. Excellent. Um, all right. So uh, did, did, can you kind of walk me through your actual sort of business flow of how you use uh, Zoho? I mean, how does, you know, how does you get leads? How do you turn that into business? How do you sort of manage projects? You know, how does that all work? You know, um, that's a great question because as we're, you know, into this, we're kind of moving into it and learning how to go. Um, right now, we have, when we have a lead and then it turns into a prospect and then it turns into a client, it could be, you know, it could take anywhere from a month to two years, you know. Um, how we get our leads, um, we, we had to already establish our leads. Um, now, the way we import them into Zoho, uh, we have all the notes and all the data in there, which is great. And then from there, uh, we use tasks. Um, for each lead. So we always set up the reminders. So if I have a lead that I want to call um, in 10 days from now, you know, to set that up is great. And then I'll send the alert to my phone or to my email. Um, and then from there, then we turn into a client um, or if it's into a prospect, meaning what is the lead and we met with them, made a presentation, their prospect. Um, you know, then we kind of put a probability on it and, and we're able to. And, and we help each other out. So there's a follow me program. So another person in my office uh, could follow that same lead and then you know see all the progress that, that's going on and be notified of any changes of that, that prospect. And then when we turn into a client, uh, which is great, um, because then you know we've had it customized for the utilities that we audit. So for the electric, for the water, for the gas, uh, for the elevators and trash. I mean, we've been we able to customize those fields you know, to put it in the way we want, and then we can estimate, you know, what the potential revenue off this client might be. Awesome. And so are you, do you have it yet? I mean, I know you've only been doing it four months, but do you have it set up where you're actually generating reports to see, you know, where you are in terms of your whole spectrum of leads, prospects, and clients? Yes. Um, I don't really look at those reports so much, um, but we do have people that do. And, you know, when you go through a transition and change, and that's another thing that I like about Zoho, is it's very easy to use. Um, it was, so when we have some of the, you know, the, the older guys, you know, transit this, you know, they really have to get acclimated to their surroundings. They have to, you know, figure out what's a lead, what's a prospect, what's a client, what our, when we set this up, what our definitions were of each. Um, so by doing that, we're, you know, now getting into the, the report aspect and you know, first everyone's just entering all this data and we don't even you know no one knows the definitions and so that's really what the key was so right now um we're now just getting into that phase with the reports and and um the probabilities and closing ratios and all that kind of good stuff so i i know it's been very very early but have you seen sort of dramatic uh, change and improvement in just four months of, of using Zoho? I mean, like, what was the business before Zoho and what is the business now? I mean, how, 
How, how can you describe the change in the business? Um, it's it was a you saw an instant change um, because uh, certain administrators, you know, you could see what's going on with the reps leads, and now instead of each person having their own, like you know, if it was an Outlook and they're using everything in Outlook, now we can all collaborate. We can all you know come up with ideas. Um, I have a prospect I was working on. I got an email from the CEO of the company and said, hey, you know what? I know this guy best friend, let's, you know, see what we could do, set up a lunch and go to a meeting. So, you know, when you have when you have certain sharing rights and you can see other people's prospects, it was great. I mean, really, it, you know, I never would have known that he knew this guy's best friend had we not had Zoho. I mean, it's very, you know, something as simple as that. Wow, that's phenomenal. Well, let, let, me, let me close on this question. I ask everyone this. Think about where you where you even started looking for a CRM solution. You had this, you know, haphazard thing where like things were all on paper, they were in Excel spreadsheets and whatnot, and you realized things were were getting bad, and you had to had to do something and change. And and now what you know today with what you're physically capable of doing with Zoho. What is there anything that you would have done differently to sort of either speed up the process? or just, you know, get yourself there faster or any advice to someone else who was in the situation that you were in? What, what would you say to a person that was, that is currently in the situation that you were in? Um, grow up any longer. Um, it is such an organizational tool that help your business grow. Um, and again, like I said, I've, I saw it overnight, like just as very simple as, as the uh, example I gave you before. So if you're in a business, small business, one, two, three people, it doesn't matter. You need to get some kind of program that will help you get organized, your lead, to call them when you need to call them so this way you don't lose out on a major opportunity. So um, that being said, um, if you're in business, you want to grow, you need a CRM program, you got salespeople, you need a CRM program, um, you have a smartphone, you can use a CRM program. Uh, Zoho was great for us, and I would recommend it to anybody and everybody. Well, Joel, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I was speaking with Joel Gerger, who is the VP of Business Development, he is the services. Joel, thank you again for joining us today. Thank you. Have a great weekend.